right good morning and tashi delic to everyone hope you are having an amazing day says jam young welcome back to my channel and hope everyone is doing good and today i'm near to sarah monastery and in a while i'm going to show you the sarah monastery which is second largest monastery in all over tibet but first let's go and have a tibetan breakfast in a local tibetan restaurant and i will show you what kind of breakfast we will eat in tibet and with this awesome chance i will try my best to share you all my experience of what they do what i hear near sarah monastery and i hope that you will enjoy my video so this road is called sarah road and if you go straightly from here you'll reach the sarah monastery and here i can see lots and lots of tibetan local restaurant some people are selling here souvenirs from tibet lots and lots of souvenirs and look at that cute dog <laughs> <laughs> that looks interesting restaurant so I'll go in this restaurant to have a breakfast and here she's selling the french fries Sonia <laughs> Lita she added some masala some salt and add some spice Looks yummy. Right, so I paid 5 yuan for this french fries. So let's fry it with my breakfast. <laughs> Yo. So that's how a Tibetan local restaurant looks like. Chindala. <laughs> right, that's where I get my sweet tea. Oh yeah, true. And I'm gonna drink this big pot of sweet tea. Did it end well? <laughs> have a good handwriting. Send Tango Ah, the Rebuna. Lotu Mokjun Yagala. Ah, we'll go with Ah, Lobs and Gashuka Rimbana. Ah. Right, everyone's life here in Tibet looks so relaxed and so easy from the beginning of day with no rush at all, you know. I mean like everyone is just enjoying their sweet tea, it's so relaxed if you compare it to the other cities in China. Actually, the Tibetan peoples can enjoy their life. Here comes my breakfast and then now I'm gonna get my breakfast. Alright, now he's going to show us how to make the Tibetan noodle soup. So first, he warm up the noodle in the water. He just added some animate, some soup, the bone soup. Okay, so that's my breakfast. Here I have the bread and my noodle soup. So 
that's my breakfast. This is the French fries. I just got it from outside, which cost five yuan. So that's what we call chapali. It was actually the bread which is filled with meat, and it cost three yuan. And the Tibetan noodle soup, which cost six yuan. So the big pot of sweet tea here cost ten yuan. So in total, for the proper typical breakfast, I paid. 25 yuan. Right now, I'm gonna start my breakfast then. Right now, Breakfast is really good, and now I'm going to visit Sarah Monastery. Hello, that's a yak, yaki yaki. Morning. 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 <laughs> That's for the street dogs. Right. I got a five packet of ham, uh, which costs 60 yuan. And I'm gonna give all those to street dogs around the core of Sarah Monastery. So here I'm at the Sarah Monastery. And here they check the COVID-19. Yes, right now I'm entering Sarah Monastery. That's the monastery ticket office right there. So if you're a tourist, you have to buy a ticket from here. I'm here in the Sarah Monastery. And I'm gonna give you some information about this monastery. So Sarah Monastery was actually founded in 1416 by Chanchen Chuche, one of the best disciples of the Master Tsongkhapa. We have like 700 monks living here in this monastery. And this is consisting as the second largest monastery or institute in all over Tibet. And this monastery is actually so famous for the newborn baby because in Tibet once we have the newborn baby we must have to bring them here in Sarah Monastery to get the blessing from Yamanitaga so Yamanitaga is the main protector of the Sarah Monastery and we call it Thumting so that's how they get the blessing under their nose this is the ashes from the butter lamb blessing from Yamanitaga Bye bye. Bye bye. And for the tourists, the main things that we can visit in Sarah Monastery is the Hmong debate about philosophy of Tibetan Buddhism and the sand mandala and the beautiful constructions of the monastery. So it's really cool for tourists to visit this monastery. So now I'm going to show you this beautiful Sarah Monastery. And I hope that you will like this monastery.
right, so that's all about Sarah Monastery. And now I'm gonna do a Kora around Sarah Monastery, which we call Linkor, Linkor of the Sarah Monastery. All right, so now I'm here and this is the Kora road, see? Uh, so in total, we have four to five kilometers. All right, let's start the Kora then. When you are in Tibet, you can see lots and lots of letters painted onto the rock like that, you see? And it means that if you paint a letter onto the rock, it will help to grow your luck. And if someone passed away, you also write this kind of letter for the spirit to go up straightly to the paradise. Right here, you can see lots and lots of mantras. <sighs> it's really colorful. And when you are in Tibet, you also can see lots and lots of painting like that. It's a holy mantra that has been crafted under the rocks. So it's a holy thing. So you can make pictures of that, but you shouldn't touch or make it dirty when you are traveling in Tibet. That's the love of a parent. Check your hand those way. Here we have the pure mineral water from the mountain. The water is so pure. <laughs> I just stepped on a yak poo. So you see this big display boat uh, that was actually used as a storeroom and they also use it for displaying the tanga. You know, the tanga is like one of the most famous painting that you can see only in Tibet or in Nepal nowadays. At the yogurt festival in August, they will display that big, big tanga under this wall. I've given all my ham to the dogs, so the feeding is finished. Still coming after me. <laughs> Yeah, 
Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <笑>来我们去吃饭你的眼睛怎么了大爷眼睛坏了是吧眼睛坏了是吧来来我们去吃饭啊想吃什么呢眼睛坏了啊是不是你看<笑><笑> 他家里想站住人对他特别想站住要么我们去那里吃大妈你的脸看一下噻漂不漂亮我看一下哦哟这么漂亮你看大妈多大了今年六十六了六十六哦还可以啊那大爷呢他六十八了六十八 大爷眼睛怎么了一点点看不到吗还龙还龙是吧哦你喜欢吃什么饭哎呀你什么饭都行就是吃点不过度都行了啊好吧好吧我们去吃饭啊那啊那你喜欢西藏吗你们<笑>